Welcome to Flavored Enemy Regnum Batisho. The following program is intended for mature audiences only, so listeners' discretion is advised. Thank you, and welcome to Vayith University. Welcome back to Flavored Enemy Orientation Week. Thalia Florakis Kiyosi. Thalia, as you have finally gone upstairs and started getting changed for the day after taking an extended period of time, having your first and then second breakfast, you are, relatively speaking, you are home alone for the next about 15 minutes until your mom gets back to go and take you shopping for the stuff that you need for school before heading up to orientation. Um, and then when you get back, your dad's supposed to take you to orientation, uh, shortly after that, after you get back from shopping with your mom. Uh, but for now, all that's really going through your head right now is the fact that you can't find a single thing in your room. Somebody came in here. Somebody came in here, into your room that was completely and perfectly organized into piles in different corners of the room and everything was had a spot on the desks on the lampshades and stuff like that and everybody somebody came in and messed it all up and cleaned so you can't find anything this is just an attack on me the person that's... so as you're sitting there struggling trying to figure out um trying to figure out where all your stuff is um you look into a mirror. A mirror that was gifted to you by your father. And you started hogging up the bathroom mirror uh, to do um, posing and stuff like that to check on your progress for your workouts. Uh, he got you one for your room. Uh, and you realize when you catch yourself in that mirror that you've, you've started to thin a little bit. And you're not, you don't like it. Can you go ahead and describe yourself to us and what it is you see in the mirror? Yes. So uh, I think the biggest thing that stands out about Thalia, uh, given her parentage and her siblings, is Thalia stands at a resounding five foot three, um, which for a half minotaur, half demon is. Short would be putting it nicely. So, that's the biggest thing a lot of people notice at first. Uh, but like most Minotaurs, she's built built out pretty well, pretty muscly. Um, due to her working out uh, as a mash bat player, hits the gym a lot. Uh, also, her right horn uh, is snapped uh, near the near the base, like. It's not quite at the base of her forehead, but def- you definitely have like a few inches of horn. Uh, but then there was a, the rest of the horn is broken off and has not regrown since the incident. Um, but right now, Thalia, uh, I'm just wearing a very loose fitting shirt, like kind of like a pajama sleep shirt and some pajama pants. Still haven't gotten around to getting ready to go yet, because um, I had to get both breakfasts in. Uh, she is black fur, mostly, uh, with kind of red accents on her snoot. Uh, her horns are red. Uh, her fingertips, uh, when she's not wearing her bracers or gloves, uh, you can see that her fingers are red. Uh, and then the leg near where her hoof is uh, also begins to redden from the black fur. Uh, and a little bit on her shoulders is also red. But everything else is pretty pretty dark black. Oh, except for her eyes. Her eyes are uh, yellow. Very yellow. Yellow and orange. Just almost, almost, like a, almost like a burning fire. Um, so, as, as you're kind of, uh, sitting there, uh, digging through your piles, you hear a, a, a ding come from your cell stone that's laying on your bed. 
who is it and what do they want? I will yeah. shuffle my feet over and grab the cell stone and look at the notification. Uh, you see that it is um, a, a, a snap from on Snapify from, from Ash. Uh, and it's a short little video clip. And as you kind of like open it up, you see that uh, Ash has somebody else filming and is getting in a really, really fast uh, bag workout at uh, at the Iron Fist boxing gym. Uh, and he's just pounding sweat. And uh, it's got like the little, a little caption on the, on the bottom that says... Uh, that says, uh, the Rage Queen doesn't quit. Is, is this like a social media post, or was this like a video it, it, sent it, it, It's like a video sent to you, like, through through, Sna- through Snapify. It's like, sent okay. to a couple different people. Um, um and, uh, and you like, you, you, you see her in the video, she's got like this, like, like, crop, uh, orange hair that kind of just comes past her ear. Um, She's got a, a rather thin build for how strong she is. She's super cut. Uh, really fair skin, freckles, these like dark brown uh, chocolate eyes. And sh- she's wearing a um, just like a, a sports bra and um, shorts that kind of cut to just above the knee. And has these, uh, this, this um, red and black um, boxing gloves on. The left one having a stitching across the top that says thoughts, and the other one on the right says prayers. Um, I think I see the video, I watch the video, and I just kind of send back a like a flexing emoji mm-hmm. and just say, keep up the great work, champ. And you hashtag, roll me a, I need, I need you to roll hashtag, me a rage, hashtag rage queen. I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. I got a plus zero to that, and that's nine. Uh, you're, you're you're feeling a little guilty. You you slept in this morning and did not get a workout in at all. Matter of fact, you didn't even work out la- yesterday either. I mean, you you ate you ate well, and yesterday was supposed to be your rest day, but like something about the way you slept last night, you didn't you didn't get up to go to the gym. You didn't go for a jog or a run or nothing. And you only have about five more minutes until, until your mom gets here. I think I can just find. You know what? I'm just gonna. You know, when I get to school, I'm just gonna carry myself my stuff up the stairs, and that that'll be my workout for the day. I can, I can, I can get a workout in with with, with moving. I don't. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's how I'm gonna justify it to myself. Uh, so what are you doing in the meantime? Uh, I think now that I know that I got like five minutes, I think Thalia finally kind of starts going through her closet and I just kind of try to find something that is comfortable yet stylish. Uh, so I'm going through my latest Rui Vuitton summer collection. Uh, see if there's anything there, and then I think I find a nice, a nice skirt with some leggings and like a comfortable like camisole top uh, that I'm just gonna wear. Okay. Uh, uh, j- I, I, and just some sneakers, just regular sneakers, nothing fancy. My uh, Pantera threes. So as as you kind of slip on your clothes and everything, and, and start and you're sitting on your bed, you know, uh, tying your shoes, uh, you hear uh, Tig, your mom, come through the through the door downstairs. Uh, Tig, as you kind of enter, you see that uh, Dolly is nowhere to be seen, even though that she was supposed to be ready to go. Dahlia? Yes, Mama. Where are you? It's time to go. I'm, I'm in my room. I'm just tying my shoes. I'll be right down. You don't wear shoes. You have hooves. Yes, but I need to put padding underneath my shoe in case I step on something. It's for the style, Mom. I can't. I can't show up to. I can't show up to orientation and not have good shoes. 
You've got 30 seconds to get your butt down here. You've got shit to do today. I have to take you to go shopping so that you can go with your dad. I think I start counting out loud, and then when I hit 29, I round the corner of the stairs. Uh, so as you kind of ran the court, ran the stairs, purposely, uh, purposely you, taking as long. You, uh, you, you see your mom all kind of flustered and flabbergasted there. Uh, Tig, you want to go ahead and describe yourself, for everybody? Yeah, sure. Um, Tig's a minotaur. Shocking. Shocking, I know. Um, Tig looks basically the exact same as she has in the main campaign where we're at currently. Um, she has. Uh, 6 two. she has like brown fur and her snoot is, is black um, and she has blue bovine eyes um, and she has black hair that's sort of in like a bob sort of situation, it's like a little bit longer than a bob um, uh, that's got a little bit of gray in it um, and she's got uh, horns like a Texas longhorn um, and she's just wearing like a, a smart looking like sort of westerny uh, dress to to go run errands and and do all the things that she needs to to do to make sure that her kids uh, get to school uh, on time. Uh, as you all are sitting there um, getting ready before heading out to uh, or heading out to go get. Uh, all the shopping done for, for school. Um, you hear a small, just tiny little knock at the door. Um, and uh, it's it's not like it's not like one where like somebody like is standing by the door. It's not like three no- rapid knocks or like that. It's like that small little one knock to let you know that like a package was dropped off or something like that. Um, and you see that uh, you're just like getting all your, your your stuff ready to go, and you know grabbing grabbing uh, your your bag and stuff like that. Uh, so, are you guys doing anything in particular before leaving the house? If a package dropped dropped off and I heard it, I would go get it. Um, you see that it is a package from your in-laws to Thalia. Oh, good, Thalia, sweetheart. This is from. Grams and Gramps. I feel like Thalia has like headphones in or something like that. It's not yeah. <laughs> uh, I immediately grab it and then run upstairs and open it. Uh, not in front of my mom. In private? <laughs> yeah. All right. I, that's kind of rude. I raised you better Thanks, than that. Thanks, mom. Um, so, uh, you run upstairs to it and you open it, you, like, unwrap it really fast, and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous U box that has got this dark stain on it, and there's a singular obsidian button on the, cent- on, like, where, like, where, like, the button would be to release the lid of the box. Um, on the, the on the, on on the top, you can see the the hand engraving of the QC family crest. Uh, I press the button. Um, so you press the button. Um, and you see that it is a, it is a, a, like a, um, a set of five, one for each finger, um, on the left hand of, um, nail rings. So it's segmented like, like, uh, like, like plate mail, like segmented plate mail and comes to a point to make it like it's a long talon. For each Ooh. finger, and it curves like an owl's talon at the end, and they're com- it's completely stained black. The 
These are nice, although it doesn't really go with my outfit right now, so... Well, I guess I can show Mom. She'll want to know. Make sure it's nothing too dangerous. So, uh, I think I will come downstairs with the box open. Mm -hmm. and, oh, look, 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 Mama. Look what, look, what, look, what, look what Grams and Gramps sent me. And I'll just kind of hold them out. Like, I'll put one of them. Can I put, like, individually on, or do they come as, like, a connection? It, it, you, you, you can put them on individually. Okay, and I'll just put, like, one of them on and, like, show her. Oh, well, that's very nice of them. Yeah. And look how sharp they are. And I just take, like, a chunk out of the wall. Can you not do that to the drywall of my house? Uh, you notice that, like, you notice that there's a small, a small runic abyssal sigil next to it that appears quickly, and the wall mends itself. The papa's got it taken care of, Mom. That's not an excuse. Vance there's other continue. places that you would do this at. I need you to not behave like a barbarian. You were raised better than that. I uh, was literally raised as a barbarian, Mother. You weren't, though. You decided to do that. Um, that's very nice of them. You told make me to find make something I'm good at and do it better. That's true, I guess. Um, make sure you write a thank you note to them. Can I just send a text? No, nope. you have to write a thank you note. But they, oh, they I don't always make fun shit. of my handwriting. To, then get better handwriting. I don't want to. Why? Nobody writes letters anymore. I write letters. Yeah, because you're old. Excuse me? You want to try that again? Sorry, Boomer. You know, I don't have to let you leave this house. You can just stay here. I can talk to Frankie about your mash bat. But I've already got a scholarship, Mama. It would do you well to learn some respect. And to not just act like the sun shines out your asshole. Language, Mama. You live in this house your whole life. You know what it sounds like in here. Oh, so you could say it and I can't? That doesn't seem very fair. Do as I say, not as I do. That's chuggy. Uh, get. <laughs> I don't have time for your nonsense today, Thalia. I don't. So you can either straighten up and fly right, or you can stay here. The rest oh, of the you know we bed. can't fly. We're not Papa. You can fly. How come none of us got to fly? So, uh, Pop's, uh, Pop's, Pop's can fly, but none of the kids can. So, That's so, Thalia, did you bring back? Did you bring down the trash from from the, from the package that you ripped up? No, it's still in my room. Fantastic. I just I just brought the box. Judge, give me strength to deal with this. You hear, you hear a small sigh in your ear. It's like, uh, I, even I don't have strength enough for this. Um, this is terror. Are you going to be on your be best behavior today? Are we going shopping, Mama? No, that's not what this question is. I'm asking the question. Are you going to be on your best behavior today? Yes, Mama. Oh, yeah, Penelope. I promise. Are you going to be on your best behavior today? Yes, Mama. I promise that I'll be on my best behavior for orientation. Not just for orientation. All damn day. I will do my best. Can I insight check my daughter to know if she's fucking lying to my face? Yeah, yeah, make it, make an insight check. Um, Dahlia, yeah, make, can I have advantage because it's my kid? <laughs> Is this a uh, yeah, you, check? Yeah, you, you, you have advantage. Uh, Dahlia, yeah, it's deception. Oh, that's a 19. That's a 22. Yeah, you, your daughter's lying the fuck to you. Yeah. Dahlia, Penelope, Loraka's QC, I don't have time for your bullshit today. Fine, I'll behave for the day and I won't go out partying. Good. Now let's go. And Tig uh, walks out the door. Uh, as you head out the door, um, 
you uh, know that uh, that Vanth left you the car for the day, uh, specifically because you, you would need it for the second half of your day of taking icky yeah. stuff. Uh, but you could you could take it now to go and get uh, go and drive into any of the areas you want to go to to get Thalia's shopping done. Uh, I think I do that. You go um, I'm trying to think of where would be like, cause I'm I'm gonna assume that Thalia it, doesn't have fucking anything, right? <laughs> like Adela's is oh, yeah. all the way across town. Adela's you could go to Adela's. You could go to Gales. Mm-hmm. You could also. I don't know what you would need from Gales. You could also go to you could also the go Euphoria to, Emporium's right yeah, there. Yeah, Euphoria Emporium, which is the mall. Oh, let's do that. That'll be easier. That seems like Thalia seems like a mall rat to me. That is, that is that is where the Louis Vuitton store is. Well, we're not going there, so that's what but, you think. But they do have a new uh, eighteen karat gold plated uh, plate mail there in the window. That, that's great if my daughter could behave. Uh, so you hop in the car and start heading that way. Yeah. Uh, Thalia, you get a notification that, uh, that, uh, Ash and Aspen both, uh, shared new videos to Vittore Star. Is that like World Star? Star? Yeah, like World Star. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I hate it here. Uh, yeah, I, I check out, I think, I probably check out Aspen's first and then Ash's. Uh, yeah. uh, you see, you see, um, it's a, it's, it's a video of, of, um, Aspen using a, um, an acrobatic technique to take down, um, someone that you, you, you feel like you, you don't, you don't think you've seen him before, rather stocky looking human guy, uh, brown hair, very basic looking guy, uh, but the move was just so cool, like, she, like, twirls around him, grabs his wrist, hooks her left leg around his neck and her, kicks his legs out from underneath him with her right leg and just levels him onto the mat. I think I think I just simmed like a bunch of emojis, like the popping eyes emoji and just like that was sick. Can you teach me how to do that next time I'm in the gym? Uh... You just get a you just get a quick message back saying sure thing, princess. Um, and uh, the, the 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 message from from Ash with the video uh, was basically um, a a continuation of the previous uh, Snapify post with the boxing on the on on, on the uh, on the weighted bag. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you you're driving along, um, what, what's what's Tig got on the car radio as you guys are driving? What, 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 what kind of music is Tig bumping on the way to the mall? Country music, obviously. This household listens to a lot of country music because Tig listens to a lot of country music. You know. Yeah. I mean, Vance Vance more about that like s- s- like smooth jazz and sure and, and like. like and like that, like like that, like that deep classical piano. Like the piano music bar tastes be- in this household are varied and wild. I would say between between the two parents. I think hearing this, I definitely just put in my earbuds mm-hmm. and put on Aspen's latest release. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys are you guys are heading on. You get to the uh, you get to the parking lot. It's a little bit it's a little bit crowded today as you know a lot of people are in the same kind of vein of grabbing last minute things before orientation starts but uh you do manage to find a parking spot it's it's about a quarter mile away from the doors but you do manage to get there and park and get all set mama do we have to park so far away like if you just drive closer i can pull out one of the other cars from the spot that's not how this works thalia like we're, your legs work. We're capable of walking. We're going to walk. Uh, it's I nice I outside. Need, I need to get my steps in anyways. Yeah, how was your workout this morning? I slept in. Oh, very dedicated to your mash pad, I see. Well, it's just, I'm, it's I'm orientation just, day. and it's You've just, got a lot going on today. It's fine. One day is not going to kill you to get some 
some extra beauty sleep. Of, of course one day is not going to kill me. I mean, nobody dies on orientation day. That's true. It'd be very weird. Yeah. Um, so, As you all um, start walking along towards, uh, to- towards the entrance... Um, that's called reverse foreshadowing, people. <laughs> reverse foreshadowing. Uh... What's it called? <laughs> Apt shadowing? After, After shadowing. shadowing. <laughs> um, um, I think okay. I wait until we get inside. So, uh, Mama, do you have the, the list of things that I need? I do. I do have the list. Is there anything you want within reason? I mean... I could use a new Mashbat bat. Like, I've been using the same one for two years now. Yeah, we can get you a new bat. Yeah. Um, do you need a new glove, too? That's no, no. That one's, still, that one's still good. Plus, I, I like it. I don't like having the new gloves. So they're, no, the new gloves are bad, because you have to break forever. them in. Yeah, they take yeah, forever. Yeah, it takes forever to break them. I heard, I saw, I was talking to Frankie the other day, and he said that he had seen that if you, like, stuff it with a bunch of socks and then like freeze it uh like wet socks and then freeze it so that it like cracks that helps we we could try that on your next new glove obviously we're not getting one today that, but mm, that sounds like witchcraft mom and i'm not really here for that Wait, you're not here for witchcraft you're saying to your mother who's married to your father who is a full demon yes and i didn't get any of the magic so you got oh. more of the magic than your sister did. Okay, but she gets to use guns, and that's cool. That is cool. You're right. She does get to do that. You tried when you were little, and you were just not very good at it. I think you got no, frustrated. I, I had better aim throwing the gun at the target, though, which is cool. You did have better aim throwing the gun. However, that's not really the intended use of that weapon, sweetheart. So, um... That's why we put you into Mashbat. It was better so, use of your skills. There is a flurry of black and like snowy white feathers uh, coming from out of your shadow tig as you see your uh, brother-in-law Carter appear uh, out of your shadow. And it's like, well, uh, Tina got all the boxes there, but uh, Dill hasn't showed up yet, so I don't know if y'all need anything. Or can we just head on over there and wait? How you doing, little Dolly? You doing alright? Oh, Uncle Carter! How are you? I miss you. Yeah, I missed you too, Dolly. So not convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to be convincing, but I'm it did not. not sound okay. I'm good. Not. No. <laughs> uh, Carter, I don't think there's anything that we all you need from you. Um, yeah, all right. You've got the the the, the thing for, for Yante. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got it. Okay. Uncle Carter, why do you always okay. wear your hat so low? So how you doing, Antigone? <laughs> I'm doing swell, Carter. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Um, well, I didn't mean to bother y'all drop in like that. I just want to nope. make sure everything's taken care of. It's um, all right. I really appreciate that. I mean, I guess you're welcome to go <laughs> vamp and see if he needs any help with Icarus. However, um, I predict that they're well in hand. Yeah, probably. While uh, they're talking, I'm going to try to sneak away to the Ruby Vuitton store. Wonderful. Make a, make a perception check, Tig. Tig doesn't have great perception. And Thali, you can make a stealth check. That's an eight. I do see you. Hey, 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 hey. I see you. Cut it out. You said you'd be on your best behavior. Um. Yeah, well, he, I'll get out of your hair so you can take care of this one over here. Yeah, no worries. Um, I'm sure Yanthe will be at the dorms as soon as she can be. I know that orientation isn't until like two or something. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know that they get their keys after that, uh, so she yeah. might just not have keys to the dorm yet, but um, I was going to say you could text her, but you don't have a goddamn cell phone. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, cell stone. Uh, 
so yeah, I guess just I, hang I, out and wait. Yeah, no, I'll just go. I'll, I'll go. I'll go take a little nap. No, no worries there. And uh, to answer your to answer your y'all's question earlier, you know, it's, it's my place as your uncle to make things awkward. So you know, I'm just going to say it's probably because your mom got all the magic. <laughs> great, thanks, Uncle Carter. <laughs> That was a great All thing right. to say in front of my kid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. All right. I'll catch you all later. Bye. As he Jeez. kind of disappears in this uh, this flurry of black feathers and snowy white feathers. He's really weird, my mom. Yeah. Your dad's a bit weird, too, though. So I think, it all, I think it's in the family, which is why you're so weird. That's hurtful. I like it about you. I like it about your dad. I like it about your sister and your brother. My little family of weirdos. Icky's not weird. He's just a nerd. No. I mean, he is that, but so am I. And he is also weird. It smells okay. funny. It's all no, that, that's you. It's all those... No, all of those... Magical herbs and things that he always has to have just smell weird. Yeah, your protein powder smells weird. My protein powder is scientifically formulated to give me the edge against my opponents. Uh huh, sure it is. All right, uh, let's see. You need to get your textbooks are at the school library, so you'll just pick those up another time. We don't have to get those today. Um, I actually am out of pre workout though, speaking of. We can get you more pre workout. You gotta get you some binders, some notebooks, some pens, pencils, all that shit. Um, we'll get you. Why do I need all that? Because you're gonna go to class. Because that's why you're at university is to learn. Ah. Do I have you to learn? You, you do have, have to. <laughs> I didn't yeah. get the opportunity to. You have to. Y'all are walking along uh, towards the uh, towards the like the, the shopping area because you guys are walking through the food court right now to the shopping area. Uh, Y'all pass by a, uh, a a boba tea stand uh, that's uh, it's smelling pretty good right about now. You gotta go. You can smell. Um, you can smell and they see a sign for raspberry boba tea. Oh, you want a snack? No, I'm good. I had, well, I didn't have a lot. I didn't have anything to drink with second breakfast. So yeah, maybe I should. We'll get you a drink. Um, I guess we get in line uh, to get Thalia some tea because Tig drinks. Say it with me, unsweet iced tea. <laughs> so gross. Uh, it's so good. You're wrong. <laughs> Thalia, can you get you on your perception check, please? Eleven. Uh, as you're kind of waiting in line, everything, um, you are kind of just, you know, eyes drifting around, you know, that kind of, that kind of ADHD kid thing where, like, you are subconsciously scanning your surroundings, um, and you, like, fully see, clear as daylight, outside of the skylight, up on top of the skylight, uh, you see a person who is wearing black leather and a deep black leather hood with their back turned towards you uh, pull out a dagger and stab a young halfling guy right in the stomach and sprint away. And this was like through a skylight? Yeah, like they were on top of the skylight. Like on top of the building, you saw through the skylight to see this happen. Mama, what? Ma, um, and I'll point to the skylight, um, and I'll try to whisper this. Okay, uh, good. Uh, I just saw somebody get stabbed on the roof. I swear. Oh shit. Um. Like the dude was wearing all black, like an assassin type outfit. It was really cool. How would one get to the roof? Uh, well. For one, when you look up there, it, 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 there's nothing. It's just a nothing. clear, clear skylight. Can I insight check my daughter to see if she's telling the truth about this murder? Yeah, yeah. Make make, make it make it make an insight. Um, 
since Thalia is telling the truth, the, D the DC is going to be 10 plus the charisma modifier. 10 plus Thalia's charisma modifier? Yes. How charismatic is Thalia? Okay, so an 11. Well, I rolled a 12. <laughs> you feel yeah. like maybe Thalia is telling the truth? Or maybe Thalia might have just say, like mis misunderstood something? Like, not a flat out blatant lie, but like. Are you sure someone got stabbed up there? Yeah, the, the, the dude looked really cool. Okay, um. We'll get you a drink later, and Tig's gonna get out of line and try and uh, figure out how to get up to the roof to see if she can figure out what the fuck's going on. There is a there's an elevator about uh, 80 feet further into the mall, uh, leading up to the upper floors and up to the the ceiling access or, or roof access. Perfect. Go in there. I guess uh, I'm following. Come on, Thalia. Fine. Um, you head up to the uh, to the elevator and click for the roof access. Um, and as you get up there, um, mm -hmm. you I see how we do this. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me make me a uh, make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, good. The famed Floracus QC family and their wisdom. 17. That's for both of you. Oh, good. Oh. You also have to. 18. Hey! Oh, okay. For once! <laughs> Um, so both of you, even though it felt wrong to do so, you felt your eyes drift off to the right as soon as you exit and notice something like you feel like it, like, like almost like there was a subconscious barrier stopping you from looking that way. And yet you feel your gaze pass over it again. Uh, and you see, um, there is a young halfling man who is standing um, in a very uh, erect, heroic-looking pose, uh, board aloft in the air, shield strapped to the arm, wearing gl gl uh, glimmering, uh, gleaming uh, plate mail, um, and the sword aloft in the air. Uh, looks almost like a, like a wax statue. And it's the only thing that's up there. Is it a real guy? It looks like a wax statue. It's not moving. It's does it look still. like the guy that I see got shanked? It does. I mean, he's wearing something different. He's like been put in like shiny plate mail and like pose. Would it be, would it be weird to cast like identify on uh, like? I mean, that's up to you. Magic. I do have identify, and this seems kinky to me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast identify. Hello, this is the Antigone identify spell. What you are looking at is a stuffed corpse. Stuffed? That is correct. It has been filled with a solution to preserve bodies. It looks as though this solution is a unique formula. So this is Emma asking the DM, is it like one of those plasticized, like, body worlds bodies? Um, it's almost like this person's been taxidermied. That's less exciting than plasticized, if I'm being completely frank. Um, um, uh, can I tell how long it's this guy's been deceased? Because it uh, like make a uh, make a medicine check. All you saw him get shanked, and then like we came make, up here. Make oh, a medicine good. check. A medicine check? A wisdom mm -hmm. check? Wow. <laughs> That's another seventeen. These dice are rolling hot. Um, so, it looks as though this person 
as either the body's been preserved so well that that it's Im- impossibly impossibly still well preserved or that this person literally just died as a matter of fact you can still see some white foamy looking secretion out of the corner of his mouth um and you can see that um his kind of giving an examination without really touching him you can see that uh, his jaw which is open you can see an irritation on the inside of the mouth like some, like something was shoved in there and something was pumped into his body. Uh, Mama, should, should I call 119? Get the, get the white cloak guards here? This... Uh, yeah, sweetheart, you do that. Um. I am going to call the white cloak guard emergency line. Um, you dial it up um, and... You, as you uh, as you ring, it says, Avandra, an emergency. How can I help you? What's your situation? Uh, hi, yes, uh, my mother and I are on the roof of um, the Euphoria Emporium, and there's a guy that's been um, stabbed and turned to wax up here. I saw it through the skylight. Okay. Uh, it's I, very strange. I have white cloak guard uh, on your way on the way to you. Is everyone safe? Is anyone hurt besides the body? Uh, yeah, there's a guy that's been turned to wax. Um, yes, yes. You no, mom, are you safe? Oh, yeah, my mom's a badass. It's uh, Antigone Florakis QC. Maybe you've heard of her? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and is anyone else uh, besides the cadaver in need of medical attention? Mom, would you like some medical attention? Uh, no, sweetheart. I don't need medical attention. Um, no, my mom's good. Um, if you have a masseuse you could send over, I've been having a weird oh, yeah. in my neck. Well, he said if I needed medical attention, that's, that's a medical not what thing. they meant. No, we're good. All right. I have, um, I have a couple of, of white cloak guard on their way to you. They should be there shortly. Please do not touch the body. And please uh, try to do your best to make sure nobody else uh, enters the crime scene area. Mom, the first says don't touch it. I wasn't going to touch it, but thank you for the warning. Okay. All right. Um, looks like they're pulling up now. So they should be there here shortly. Oh, I see him pulling around. I'm, I Tell him I'm waving on the rooftop. Uh, you see that a, a, um, a Aarakocra... And a, um, and a, uh... Oh, this is the aerial unit? <laughs> an Aarakocra and a, um... Draki. And, 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 uh, and uh, like a, like a paley white, uh, Drakia, um, both swoop down, uh, onto the roof. Um, and you see that the Aarakocra kind of looks at you and says, Ah, oh, well... Fancy seeing you here again, Thalia. You, uh... You're not out on parole now, are you? I mean, you got fined pretty big last time. I didn't think you'd, you know, step it up to murder. Just kind of chuckles to himself. Do I know my daughter's been fined? Um, yeah. Yeah, this is... This is this this, this, this officer is usually the one that ends up responding to the... That the Thalia based call. Public disturbance <laughs> calls that. Th- Thalia's phone number is just like, it's just extremely um, to this yeah. guy. Yeah, no, like, uh, like you, you and this guy, Thalia, are on, uh, like, first, <laughs> first, first, name. first name, first name basis. This guy's name. <laughs> um, um, and, uh, this guy, this guy's name is Gideon, by the way. Um, mm-hmm. Gideon Edgings. Uh, huh? so. Wasn't I... me this time, Giddy. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad it wasn't you this time. Like my mom's here and everything. Mhm, mhm. Hi, Gideon. Hi. I'm glad you've been keeping this one out of trouble. I haven't gotten a call in like three weeks. She's been at uh, lots of mash bat practice mm. and getting ready to go to school, so she's been behaving for once in her life, and I'm okay. very proud of her for that. Um. 
my 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 partner's over there and in, in investigating the body. We've got a we've got a team of uh, we got a team of engineers coming down to you know get imaging and stuff like that. So it shouldn't be too long. So what happened? What'd you see? I didn't see anything. Thalia is the one who spotted it. So. Oh, that makes sense. Thalia, what'd you see? Wow. Well, we I was in line. Uh, wanting to get a raspberry boba tea because I missed. Um, I didn't really have a big drink with breakfast or second breakfast this morning, uh, which was mostly just dry cereal and an avocado uh, and an orange. Peel on, of course, because, you know, extra nutrients. Got to keep my body right. Um, so anyways, we had to come to the mall because I needed to get some school supplies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was bored in line because, you know, it's waiting in line. It's boring. Uh, and I looked up through the skylight, and I saw this dude get uh, straight up shanked by a dude wearing like, all like this really cool all black like assassin's gear. Okay. And I told my mom, and she believed me for once, and we came up here, and it was this really weird feeling of like we weren't supposed to look at the guy, but then like. I was able to, and we saw him, and he was just like this. Although he wasn't wearing the plate mail when he got stabbed. Hmm. Well. Okay, well, it all adds up with everything else we heard reports on. Oh, has this been happening? Yeah, um... The author's notes got into calling him the marionette. The marionette. What a twat. This is the sixth body we found. Mm. See? He poses each of them as uh, different historical figures throughout history. And each murder is supposed to be representing a message. Some of our greatest detectives have been working on it right now because there's supposed to be some hidden meaning and... With they think that maybe that's going to help them to figure out, you know, who's doing this and who they might be targeting next, because there is almost never any evidence left behind. The only thing that we know for certain of is that uh, the the mixture that's pumped into their bodies is a mixture of arsenic and formaldehyde. Nasty stuff. I bet Uncle Quincy could figure it out. Maybe! Uh, but he doesn't have jurisdiction here, sweetheart. Um, like, what sort of historical figures have they been posed as? Well, um, there was... There was the one of, uh... The, the late Empress. Okay, sure. It's a 14-year-old girl who was killed. I think that was one of the first ones we found. Um, and then there was the one that was, uh... I was posed as, uh, and he kind of looks at Thalia and then back to you as, like, uh, whether or not he should go into this now. Uh, Thalia, go stand over there. I can just do this and I'll put my earbuds in. Hey, uh, Thalia. Kind of pull, he, he pulls out a couple of, a couple of, uh, gold coins and flicks them over to Thalia. You mind uh, going and get my partner some uh, some, some donuts and uh, letting us live up to the trope? Fine, but I'm keeping the change. That works for me. Mm. Thalia uh, will go and climb down. <laughs> and he kind of looks at you and says, there's also... There's also a young couple killed. Um, Fair-skinned young man with blonde hair and a darker-complexioned young woman with black hair. Ah. I can do the math on that one. Um, They were found only two blocks away from their house. Oh. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, the White Cloak Guard is... This is our top priority right now, but... 
we we had never even seen the killer. We've never gotten gotten any kind of information about like body shape or how they do the killing or anything like that. We've only ever found the bodies, and there's never any stab wounds or gunshot wounds or fire damage. Nothing. They they just died. Uh, DM, can I put together who this halfling is supposed to be? Uh, sure. Make a history check. That's only a ten. There's a lot of different people it could be, but the pose and how, like, the, the gleamingness, you could tell that it's supposed mm -hmm. to be Dinadon. Well, um, if there's anything I can do to help, uh, yeah, y'all know where to reach me. Uh, Absolutely. Keep me and, posted uh, on, uh, I guess, any more of my uh, friends who uh, get made. So I, I'll keep you updated, and uh, you try to talk Sally into. Making it so I don't have to get to call down to the college, huh? I'll do my best. Um, be honest she, with you. She, she promised me she'd at least be on her best behavior today, so you shouldn't hear anything today. I'll be honest with you. The, the courts are the courts are already talking about because uh, you know they they ha they they put me gave me extra duty to to study for being a parole officer, and I don't I don't want to go that route. If you catch my meaning. I get you. Yeah, for sure. I also would prefer that you don't have to go that route. Um, I'm hoping that the college will be a positive influence on her. Um, yeah, we'll me, me too. But, well, um, thanks. I'll uh, make sure that y'all get your donuts. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I'm going to go catch up with Oh, yeah. I imagine you bump into Thalia on the elevator. Oh, perfect. Then we bring the donuts and then... <laughs> How many donuts are left, Thalia? Uh, all, I got a dozen donuts. All of the donuts are there, but there's a single bite taken out of each donut. A menace. You see that... Uh, you see that Gideon just kind of looks up at you and looks at the box of donuts. I just give a wink. Study well. Oh yeah. Study well. Come on, kiddo. Let's uh, actually get you that drink and your uh, school supplies. So uh, you, yeah. you head back down and you know cycle your way through. You end up going through, picking up your uh, raspberry boba tea and start walking through the stores to pick up some basic supplies. Uh, and you're walking for quite a bit and, you know, exploring around, looking at all the different stores. Um, and uh, as you guys are going to walking around, you see that there is a... Um, there is a, 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 a small, like, like, almost like like hallway walkway leading towards like the higher end fashion area wing of the mall um and you can see that there are um like glass display boxes lined on each side with different um you know opulent looking dresses and suits and stuff like that uh and then a banner across the top that says um songbird prom Longbird prom? Does the does the university have a prom? It does. When? Uh, it's usually held. The, the, so things work a little bit different with Bayes University. It's sure, Songbird sure, prom. Sure. The Songbird prom is usually usually held. Um, usually held after after the uh, end of the first uh, semester. So it's usually held like about. Sh two three months from now yes yeah, so um now so what, 
Let me get my handy dandy calendar. <laughs> like Death March? Time? Yeah, yeah, like Death March time. Okay. Um, Alia, did you know that they had a dance? Are you gonna try and go? Do you dance? I think I just stare at my mom. Why are you looking at me like that? You could deal with some socializing. I socialize enough with the Mashbat team in the sure. boxing gym. That's fine. You could just also go to a dance with them. Mm, I'm yeah, not go trying to, a, to. Go to a dance so that some guy who spiked the punch can put his grubby little hands on me. Oh, well, maybe don't drink the punch then. Because people are gross. Um, yeah, they are. I'm not trying to tell you what you should do, but I think you'd look nice in a prom dress and would maybe have a nice time. Oh, but I don't look nice normally? Oh, yeah, I'm not trying to... Thanks, Mom. Twist my words. So, as you guys are talking there, you, you, there's a kind of a small group that walks by, and um, you see a, a guy in, like, a, like shaggy brown hair with a... Uh, with a like a mash bat hat on, uh, just kind of very loose fitted, uh, wearing like a simple red t-shirt and blue jeans with like a a black uh, like canvas jacket, uh, and uh, very 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 simple plain looking guy, uh, kind of like looks over you, at Dahlia, and is like smiles, say, "Oh, uh, hey, Dahlia, fancy seeing you here." And I recognize this person? You make an insight check at disadvantage. Five. You you definitely talked to this person. Or at least this person has talked to you. Do I clock that um Thalia like is recognizes but doesn't remember the name? Make an insight check. With advantage. Uh, 18? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go... Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think I've met you before. Uh, I'm Tig. I'm Folly's mom. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, hi. I'm Justin. Justin! Yes! Mm -hmm. I knew it was this plain ass motherfucker. You say that out loud. No, no, that's Ryan talking. <laughs> that's that's a different. <laughs> it's it's nice to meet you, Justin. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't just uh, saw Dahlia here, and you know, two new kids going into university. And I figured uh, might be cool to say hi. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, for sure. it's it's been a while. Justin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was I was I was down at the I was down at the at the Dradian River the, uh, a little bit earlier today after my hike and uh you wouldn't believe that there was a, there was a kappa in the water. I almost got a picture. That sounds cap, bro. <laughs> I see what you did. That's pretty good. <laughs> um but yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to bug y'all. Um but uh if y'all are y'all are ever up for hanging out, you or you know your your sister Yante um, want to hang out or do anything? Uh, I can give you my Thelstone number if you, if you want. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yes. sure, sure. That's um, I'm a, a wonderful idea. See, he um, opens up his uh, his uh, cell stone and. Um, opens up to the contacts and hands it to you with the with the, the thing open. So it's like set to put a new contact in. Uh, is is my mother watching me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will just kind of look up at her, and she just I sort of like raises her eyebrows a little bit. Like, come on now. 
This is this seems like a nice young man. In my head, I'm like, I get a new bat. I'm getting a new bat. I'm getting a new bat. And I will put in my information. Mm-hmm. And then I'll look at him like, oh, you mentioned you mentioned uh, my sister as well, right? Uh, uh, I'll, y- I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put her in here as well. Uh, yeah, uh, that sounds great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Can I roll an insight <laughs> check on this kid? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Twenty-three. So this this kid went from being uh, nervous to hopeful to scared really quickly. There was this progression, uh, and the scared happened immediately when he realized that he was going to be getting Iante's number. Good. good, 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 good. Uh, but he's not trying to convey that. You just picked up on that. Really I just picked up on on on, on some on, motherly intuition. On, on that, like, arc. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, but y- yeah, I mean, I, I, I sometimes I, I plan on bringing some, uh, some, 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 uh, some, some board games up to the, the, the dorms and, you know, maybe like, like, uh, like, um, I don't know, we can do like a, like a, like a board game night or something, you know, like everyone likes board games, right? I know my brother does. You like really when got... you win. I like anything when I win, Mama. But... That's true. This is a very... I hate to tell you this, Justin. Our household's very competitive. <laughs> so, uh... uh yeah. Thalia and Iante usually get into it with each other. Icky's usually pretty chill about the whole thing. But That's because Iante cheats. Iante doesn't cheat. She just does better she than... She steals about. from the bank all the time. That's not true. I've seen you steal from the bank. That's because I don't hide it. Still cheating, Thalia. Is it though? It is. It is, in fact, still cheating at the game. The thing that you're accusing your sister of doing, you are doing. Yeah, but I'm not trying to be sneaky when I do it. But uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, good good luck on uh, uh the, the mash bat trouts too, right? Like you're still going out. You're going out for the college team, right? Uh. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, they gave me a scholarship already, so like, I'm guaranteed. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, guaranteed because you know, I've been training with the greatest mash bat player of all time, Frankie. So, you know, mm-hmm. the hit of James. Uh, so like, he's been doing like a really good job of, you know, working on my swing and just, mm-hmm. you know, I can, I, I can hit it pretty far now. Not, not to the moon like he did, but you know pretty far I mean like that, that's I mean, that's cool I see I see the hat are you gonna try to are you gonna try to walk on oh no 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 I'm just a I'm just a fan I just like watching come on give it a shot oh no no I I don't I don't I'm not I'm not really athletic or anything like that I I'd rather stick to you know like you know exploring and, and you know writing writing books about you know, you know creatures that are it's... hard to find and stuff like that isn't the point of going to college to try something new? Oh, uh, I mean, are you trying something new? Maybe. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if uh, if whatever what, whatever uh, whatever um, <laughs> whatever Spencer said about 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 you before is anything thing to like connotation or whatever. I immediately step into his face. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did Spencer say? I mean, like, just Spencer, Spencer said you weren't like, you weren't like nice or whatever, but like, you seem pretty chill to me, you know? I don't know. It's like, S- Spencer, Mr. Twig Mellifers talking about me? I mean, like, I guess, like, I I I got told him like he was, he was like over there and he kind of points to the food court and like he said like you know like he warned me not to come over and talk to y'all because like he said that yeah you, know, you were like mean or whatever. Oh, I'm just a sweetheart. Don't worry about it. 
Uh, but yeah, you yeah. should try it for the team. I'll put in a good word for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm gonna head to the like uh, book the book store up in, upstairs. Uh, I'll see you around. I'm sure you will. Waits for a second to make sure you give him back his cell stone, which you're still holding. I am. I'm gonna wait for him to put his hand out. Oh, yeah. Yes, Mama? Hmm. Give the nice man his phone back. Here you go. Uh, thanks. Uh, see you around. It was nice meeting you, Justin. Nice meeting you too. Uh, and he awkwardly gets the fuck out of there. <laughs> that poor kid. Um, as y'all, uh, y'all, y'all eventually walk around to the. Um, you reach the the like the clothing area, and uh, Dolly, you see the Louis Vuitton store. You see that. You see that 14 karat gold uh, plated plate mail in the window. That beautiful 10,000 gold price tag. I was going to say, do I see a price tag next to it? Yep. 9,999 gold and 99 silver. Copper. Silver. I kind of do that thing that kids do when they, when they see something they want. It's like, we're walking, and then I will just slow my my pace as we get closer, but not like full on stop. Oh, you! What are you gonna do with a ten thousand gold plate of armor? Look even more amazing than I already do. That's not. Don't you want your daughter to look wonderful for her first day of school? You're not gonna wear plate on your first day of school. What about my what about my second day of school? I don't know where you get your attitude from. I really don't. Um, I get it from watching you, Bob. I do not. So that was wrong. I could not. I do. I do not. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> <laughs> just the old PSAs are just going in my brain. <laughs> have, you, have you heard Papa talk? He's rather snarky. He is rather snarky. That's true. Also, last time Uncle Nito was here, he kind of... kind of taught me some things. Oh, God. Y'all really gotta stop learning shit from Uncle Nito. But he's a really good conservationist. He's a great conservationist, Dahlia. He's also a dumbass. Well, that's mean. I thought you guys were like besties. Didn't you like save the world together or something like that? Like, Yeah, we did that. You... I, he can also be a dumbass while saving the world. Those two things can, they're not mutually exclusive. Look, if you do well at your schoolwork, look at me. We can maybe see about getting you something nice. But you have to do well and apply yourself at school, Thalia. What if I just get really good at mashback? Nope, that's not not the deal. Can we at least see if Miss Rory will put it on layaway for us so that way like nobody else nope. steals it? I'm sure that I can talk to Miss Rui. <laughs> Make sure that there will be one in the future. But we're not putting it on layaway. They don't even do that at Rui Vuitton. You know that. This isn't Adela's. I mean, they do if you, you know. They don't. If they like you. Uh, I can assure you Rui does not like me. Um, we can. If you what did, you, what did you do to Miss Rui? I didn't do anything to Miss Rui. We just have pretty fundamental differences of opinion on what constitutes food. Oh. Uh, is it because you dress like that? I'm sorry. 
Are you being on your best behavior right now? Because it doesn't sound like it. Sorry. Oh, there you go. I'm telling you, these are the circumstances. You do well at school, you apply yourself. Then we can see about getting you this nice plate of armor. But if you don't do well at school and you don't apply yourself, then you're not going to get it. It's as simple as that. I really shouldn't be having to bribe you. You're 18 years old. But here we are. Uh, you are. Can we, just, can we just go to the sporting goods store? We can go get your back. Come on. You all go the rest of the, the shopping trip, scooping up everything that you that you need. Uh, you scoop up the, the, the mash bat bat and all the school supplies and clothing and such like that. And, um... Uh, take you walk out of there with a little bit more than you had initially planned on walking out of there with. Um, and somehow, you're not really sure how it happened, but, uh, you're carrying, a, like, uh, a good two-thirds of the bags. <laughs> it's fine. It's orientation. She's been mostly on good behavior, so. Hey, I reported uh, a crime. You reported a crime. You were nice to that sweet Justin kid. You've mostly been good. I'm very proud of you. I want you to keep it up. So you you get all the way over to the car um, and start loading everything up when you hear two hoverboards come zipping by. Uh, Thalia, you immediately recognize your 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 best friend, Ash and uh ash's girlfriend uh aspen as they kind of hop off and uh ash kind of looks over you and says oh, yeah. hey thalia hey, seeing you here hey, you just get you you just you just get here uh just leaving actually we got all my i, I got i had to get some new mash bat stuff and uh, uh a bunch of uh you know furniture and, and school supply you know books and yeah, because yeah. my mom wants me to do well in school, I guess. Because that's the point of going to school, is to do well. Hey, uh, how's, it, how's it going, Mrs. Florakis? Hi, girls. How are y'all? Uh, you know. <laughs> and uh, Aspen kind of like, yeah, yeah, no, we're good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dahlia, you, uh... Kind of takes a second to look you up and down. Uh, you good? Uh, been better. Slept, slept weird mm. last night. That's why I missed the morning workout. It just, it just, it threw me off. I threw off all my energy for the day. You know. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I could tell you're looking a little loose right now. Yeah, it's, it's things just weren't right, and then there was this whole weird. Thing that happened when we got to the mall today it's just it's just been a it's been a funky day all across the board um, mm. some dude turned another guy into wax like it was weird oh you see aspen kind of like chimes in oh that's that's wild it dude, was turned into wax dude it was hardcore yeah whoa so be careful out there all right girls and i mean two of my yeah favorite people I mean, I'm, obviously nobody can take y'all in a fight, but like, <laughs> this this dude was like hella sneaky. Oh shit! Yeah, no, I like. Keep your nose up. Absolutely. Nah. Yeah. All right. Uh. Aspen, Aspen doesn't hide her her thing, right? No, not at all. Okay. Well, uh. I think we we're just about to head inside, go hit the food court up and everything before heading up to the orientation, so. You gonna you, hit the uh, gym after, after orientation, though? <laughs> uh, no, I got a match. Tonight? Yeah. I didn't see it posted up on the board. No? I mean, you didn't go to the gym this morning, so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, the, yeah uh, where at? Is it, is it at the gym, or are you... Yeah, no, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's at the gym, yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I asked Polynesis for a rematch. Polynesis, the, the Titan guy. The fucking, yeah. The fucking, like, nine foot tall. Yeah. Whatever. 
Girl, you're crazy, but... Nah, I got a plan. I'm gonna rupture his kidneys. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we keep a cleric on staff for a reason. Mm -hmm. I figure if I can put him in a renal failure in the first round, I might be able to take him out in the second. I mean, he's a minotaur. We're tough. True, yeah. true, true. I mean, there was there, you know, there was that one time though. I think I. Oh shit! What was it like? Four or five months ago, um, where you know, if you remember correctly, I think I put your tooth from the right side of your jaw through your left cheek. You remember that yeah, one? It was pretty dope. <laughs> Oh yeah, that but, was... No, be careful, because I've been watching him, and he likes to... You know the, you know the Samson roll, where he kind of, like, bobs and weaves in the throat? He likes mm -hmm. to do that, but he likes to pick his horn up at the last second and, like, catch yeah. it with that. So, yeah. watch out for that. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no. If, if, it, if it comes down to it, I'm I'm not above grabbing his horns. Like, if he wants to use them as weapons, I'm going to use them as handlebars, and not in that way. <laughs> I kind of I kind of look at Aspen when she says that. Uh, Aspen just kind of like, uh, like lifts her eyebrow and kind of looks over and says, "This is so powerful knowing your mom is here." <laughs> Aspen kind of looks over and says, "Ah, uh, well, um, is is what? Uh, so, like, what's going on with uh, with you and that? Uh, looks over at uh, your your mom still over there." That uh, match that you had recently. Well, the match was strong. You know, I was strong in the early rounds, but you know, as it got later on, it you know just tuckered out too quick, huh? Yeah, my fire just kind of died out a little bit. I I'm telling you, you just need to find a better sparring partner. You know. Find someone who can keep pace with you. Otherwise, you're just never gonna you're never gonna get there. You know. Well, I, mm, you're right. You know what? Maybe. Maybe you're. Maybe may, may, you, you know, know what? what? Maybe, maybe after maybe after the match that I'll ask Polynices if he wants to. You know, go yeah. You know. You know. Honestly, maybe your maybe y'all's fighting styles match up. You know. Yeah, but hey, speaking of fighting styles, you gotta teach me that move later. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'll teach you. That shit was dope. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, Aspen and I are gonna head inside. Uh, hey, look us up when you get over to orientation. We can, uh, we can go hit the stalls together. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. All right, uh, uh, come on, babe, let's go. Yeah, all right. All right, uh, see you later, Thalia. See ya. Uh, bye, Miss Lurakis. Bye, girls. And they head off towards the mall. As, uh, Aspen. Hoverboarding is so cool. It's something. Um, hey, you've gotten all the bags loaded up, but Thalia, mm -hmm. Thalia just sat down the bags that uh, that she was carrying <laughs> by the back of the thing. It's like one of those <laughs> things where, like, if it was a normal day, I'd probably fuss, but I just don't feel like getting into it. <laughs> So I'm just letting it go this time. Um, so uh, you get everything loaded up and uh, driven over, um, and as you do, you you hear like the back of the vehicle shuffle, so that way it, uh, it it's able to contain both people's belongings um, and get it all situated in the back. Uh, as you pull back up to uh, pull back up to the house. Um, where you and Vant are supposed to switch switch spots. Switch kids, rather. I'm here to obtain <laughs> Icarus. Um, and uh, you see that uh, you see that uh, Icky's, Icky's inside right now and uh, Vant's um, waiting out in the, on, on, the, uh, on the porch. Um, you can see that he is his eyes have that like deep purple coloration that he gets when he is communicating with somebody in the abyss. Mm. Um, and you see that he is his his like his smile has that like sharp 
owl scowl to it. Mm. Where he's obviously really irritated about something. Good, 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 good. Um, um, and you, you, you hear him just shout something extremely horrendous in Abyssal before his eyes turn back. Do I hear it? Oh, I forgot. You speak Abyssal, huh? The whole family speaks <laughs> whole Abyssal. Family does Abyssal. They all here. speak Abyssal. They all speak Minotaur. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I will put what he says in ch in chat because <laughs> it's, for, it's nasty for, for 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 sake of uh for sake of our audience's ears. Oh, good. He says something real rude. Yeah, I speak abyssal, celestial, common, giant, and minotaur. I speak abyssal, common, minotaur, silver. Why, Sylvan? Why not? None of us speak Elvish, though. None of us speak <laughs> Elvish, though. We learned I that. that Sylvan was Elvish. Sylvan no, is like Sylvan similar is like to big, Elvish. Yeah, it's like the like Elvish like is based off of Sylvan, I believe. I have in, like, to go look at the Elvish, fucking at least in, like D and D lore. I don't know what it is in Victoria. Hold on, I have the the language chart. Please hold. Because I know, like primordial breaks down into. Uh, Aquin. So Syl Orin. Sylvan is Spanish. Elvin is Italian, actually. <laughs> I was wrong yesterday. At least according to this chart from a billion years ago. <laughs> you know how it goes. You know how it be. You know how it be. Be what it do. What it <laughs> is. Jesus. <laughs> This family is a nightmare. <laughs> Just an absolute. Your fault for having it. It is my own fault. You could, for... have, you could have avoided this whole thing if you didn't fall in love with your gun. I didn't this fall in love with my gun, but the gun had uh, a hot man in it. It had and... several. It had several people in it. Yeah, but only one of them was hot. Marcus that Demon's was... in there. And th that's not hot. Possibly <laughs> for not much longer. And the Harbinger was in there. We don't know if she's hot. She's a haunted doll. <laughs> there you go. Oh, good, 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 good. I love, love my husband. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I see Papa? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, grab, I grab I, I, the. I'm gonna, the I'm gonna ha I want to have you make a wisdom save first to see whether or not this is the time to talk to him. <laughs> oh, thank God! Natural twenty. Uh, <laughs> uh, now's not the time. This is not the time to talk to your dad. <laughs> Uh, but you do see Icky come out of the front door. Icky, you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and describe yourself for everyone here? I am a Minotaur. Surprise! I know. Shocking. Very shocking. Incredibly shocking. Um, he's. I think I said he was six seven because he was one inch taller than Frankie. Um, he's got, like, brown fur, um, he wears, like, a blue shirt with, like, red around, like, the cuffs and black around the collar, um, he also kind of wears a vest that's just black and red, um, his horns at the base start off as, like, black and then they kind of fade up into white, um, he's got... I think it was called like an apogee. No, he's got like a uh, waistcoat kind of thing. Um, that's blue, red, and black, and his pants are just kind of like cargo shorts, essentially. And he's got his backpack and his staff. And that's Icky. Hey, hey, nerd! You want to see something really cool? Oh boy, is it another table being broken? Ha ha ha. No, it's what it's what Grams and Gramps sent me earlier. What did they send you? 
check this out, and I show him the, the, the box. Press the button, press the button! <laughs> I press the button. And you, you you see the, the same thing. Do you want to go ahead and describe it? Yeah, so, like, the box opens up, and then uh, I quickly grab all of, like, the little talons, and I put them on my left hand, and I just kind of, like, imitate Vanth. <laughs> you put all of them on? Yeah, I put all of them on. Uh, as soon as you put the last one on, the <laughs> metal kind of shoots up your up your hand, up your forearm, up your shoulder, all the way up to your elbow, um, all the way up, all the way up your elbow, up to all the way up to your shoulder, and creates a full set of scale armor that kind of gloves your entire hand. Um, and just covering from, the arm like gladiator just, style. Ju- yeah, just the arm. And then from the uh, from the center of the forearm, from the center of the forearm, there is an additional black button. Can I ritual cast detect magic? Is it ritual cast? Or is it just regular cast? I think Can't you can ritual detect- cast that. I also yeah, think I can minutes. ritual Which is you fine. Can take 10 minutes, one of- yeah, I don't want to spend a spell slot because if I spend a spell slot, that's a wild magic surge that shouldn't happen. Uh, Mama, can I press the other button? I mean, yeah. We're at home. Nobody else is do around. It, do it outside. Yeah, we're outside. We're in the front yard. Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, I had those. Press the button. I had those question, but this shit, that shit. Uh. Uh, hello. It's just dad. It's just too mm. bad. Crossing. As you press the button again, you see that it spirals into a shield strapped to your forearm. Ooh. Is there a button on the shield? There's a button on the shield. I press the button on the shield. It shoots all the way back into where it's just the fingertips. Cover it again. I press it again. It shoots all the way back to the arm piece. I press it again. Turns into a um, shield. Can I see what kind of magic this is? Using like the ritual cast to take magic while Thali is uh, consistently pressing the button. Um, so you you're able to see that it is the uh, it is a uh, transmutation magic, um, and it also has a light enchantment magic. Um, and you can tell that uh, the transmutation is meant to be able to move around tiny little bits of metal. Um, in order to turn it f- into the different three forms, and the enchantment is meant to um, is meant to keep it completely clean and undented, as it cannot be dirtied or broken. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, I found this right. book, but I mean, that's part for the course, I guess. Also, uh, good luck trying book. to dent that. I mean, I'm going to dent things with it. Why would I want to dent this? I don't know. Why would you do? Why do you do half the things you do? I think Tig has like left those two to their own devices and is going to go see what's Let's up see with how- her husband. Let's see how, Let's see how hard this is. And I go to punch Iggy. I go to, like, I'm going to punch Icky, but then you I kind of... stay back. I, I don't actually do I just kind of see if I can make him flinch. Uh, mm. you see, you see, uh, you see Vanth, like, conjures a... It's like a steel shield in Icky's hand as this oh, as gonna, you go to punch. I was going to lock it up, thunderclap. <laughs> as I see the shield, I'm like, oh, cool, Dad's approval. <laughs> And I, and I let loose on That's the not what that means! <laughs> how did, uh... How did shopping go in Oh, I missed. About as well as you think it went. Hmm. There's, um... Some spicy murders happening in town that we got to... Be privy to. So that was fun. Um, it's, it's fun. How 
are you so pissed at down in the abyss? One of my knights. He, uh... Said somebody strode through one of the afterlives and left. Are you fucking me? I swear to God. Here's the thing. Merit Secker didn't wake. Only reason that my knight knew about it is my knight was ki- helping to ferry somebody down who sold that the Judge Jones. And, well, this person walked right out, same as, Mm -hmm. and they have no information. I mean, it can't, it can't be him. That doesn't make sense. No, it can't be him, so. Um, well, fuck. That's what I said. Well, with a few more words. I heard your beautiful <laughs> vernacular. Quite the words of this one. Um, are you... Are you certain that sending our kids to college is the right move right now? Everything seems so... Honey, they're, fragile. They're 15 minutes away. I know. It would maybe be different if they went to, like, low back or whatever, but they're going to Vegas. They're close. Thalia needs something. You, 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 can, you can stop that phrase right there. Icky wants to control his magic, which would honestly be beneficial to all of us, and I think if we told Ianthe she couldn't go, I think she would literally have a meltdown, so. I agree. Uh, They'll be fine. And if they're not fine, we are close. They can go and help them out. But. Can't keep them in the nest forever. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose not. You ready to take over Thalia duty? Um, yep. I'm absolutely prepared. Godspeed, soldier. (laughs) I love you too. Love you so much. You have fun with Hickey, huh? I will. Come on, Icarus. We gotta get your shit in the car. All right, Mom. All right, Thalia. Let's uh, head on for our walk down to University Ward. Hmm? Did you see where Trams and Drams got me? I did. It's been in our family for three generations now. Quite beautiful. Does it have a name? It does. Cool. Do you know the name? I do. However, I don't know if you're ready for it. What does that mean? Oh, is this like one of those demon things where if you know the true name, like it gains stuff? Yeah, let's go with that. You're mocking me, aren't you, Papa? (laughs) I wouldn't dream of it. I just scowl at him. Sure. Sure thing. So, if my mom's got the car, how are we getting all of my stuff to school? Well, your mom already has it in the back of the car. Once we get there, we'll walk and do your things, and I will have your belongings brought out from the car, which should still be in the parking lot. I can get it out of the car. I need to get my workout in anyways. Okay. So are we taking the 
bus or are we walking? Are you gonna yeah. fly me to school? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're, we're going. We're going to walk. All right, Starlight. Now let's go. Yes, Papa. And um, with the thing in like full arm mode, I, as we're walking, I try to hold Dad's hand. Unquibus is the name of it. Unquibus, huh? It's in the common tongue. It translates to talons. Hmm. So I have talons and hooves now, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything... Mama said I had to write a letter. Is there... Anything that I should make sure that I say to them? Because this is really, really cool. Well, I would... I would make sure that you denote how honored you are to receive it, as it is a blessing. It's the mark of significance in a family. Similar to... Similar to how Angela now carries... Quincy's gone rebel. Well, then shouldn't the aunt they have it? She's the oldest. And that, my dear Starlight, is why you should write the letter. Uh... They chose you specifically. Are you curious as to why? Of course. Well, maybe you could ask them that in this letter that you write. Would that be rude to ask why I got a gift? Not if you phrase it correctly. Do you? Say, for example, if you ask somebody, why did you get me this? It would seem rude, yes? Yeah. Now, if you ask somebody... What did I do to deserve such a magnificent gift? Is that rude? No, it makes the gift sound really, really amazing. And there it is. It's as my employer always said, the devil is in the details. I take it for you that's more literal. Ah, uh, well, you know, sometimes I do call your mother details. That's... <laughs> I immediately let go of his hand. How are you going to deal with being in college if you can't handle a little dark humor? Hmm? That's not dark, that's my parents... ...being gross. <laughs> and... <clears throat> You think that my owl-like hearing doesn't extend to your bedroom, Dahlia. I have to tune it out every once in a while, you know, those conversations you have on the cell stone with, uh, what was, what was their name? So would you want to talk about this instead? Well, looks like I'm texting from now on. <laughs> well, you're going to be at university from now on. Yes, where I have a roommate. Well, maybe learn to keep it down next time. God, I hope she's cool. <laughs> if not... <laughs> well, we've got a thing to deal with that now. Oh? Well, don't go killing any of your roommates, hmm? I won't kill anyone on the first day, Papa, I promise. Well, I'm certainly glad. If you do kill someone on your first day, at least make sure that's someone that deserves it, though. You know, of course, it will be. All right. What is that? He kind of looks over at the river, and you see, uh, as you guys are crossing the bridge across the river, you see Justin swimming through the river. Holy uh, club. What is that? 
It's his name's Justin. He's kind of an idiot. We met him earlier today. Mom took a shine to him. We should probably get him out. You see that he is like he's like actively like swimming through the river and he's like looking around for stuff. Like he's not he's not in danger. Yeah, but he's still an idiot. I just, Papa, can we just, can we get him out and dry him off? He's just, he's going to be late for orientation, and Mom said that I need to be nice to people, so. Mm -hmm. Sure. As you see him kind of lower his hand and raise it as Justin starts floating out of the river, like, oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. As he kind of floats over to the bank, and your dad sits him down and walks over. It's like, uh, oh, hi, Thalia and, uh, Mr. Kissy. Um, what are you doing, you absolute dingleberry? We have orientation Oh, in, uh, like, yeah. an hour or so. I mean, yeah, I mean, I still was going to make it. I was just looking for were the Kappa. You? Were you? Because you were swimming yeah. downstream away from the university. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I... Um, I think I was, yeah, I should have been fine. I was just looking for the kappa. Mm -hmm. You said that uh, this young man is Justin. Thong? Indeed. Indeed. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Thun Van Thor. As you may call me, Mr. Kiyosi. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Um, I'm Justin. Justin Williams. Um, I guess you can call me, uh, Justin? Uh, so, uh, Dahlia, um... Look, I'm trying to be nice. I promise my mom that would be. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's, let's go to university together. Oh. All right, because um... I don't want you being late, because then mom will be mad at me. Because somehow that's going to be oh. my fault. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Okay. I feel like you kind of put your hand up on his back and start pushing him along. I pretty much do, yeah. Uh, and uh, you see Vance just kind of laughing in the back. Um, and he starts talking to you in Abyssal uh, a little bit here and there. He's like, so have you. Is this the one that you pick then? <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. Well, it seems like you're doing a lot of picking right now. Mama said that it had to be nice, and she got me the new mash bat, so I'm being nice. Besides, did I pick up that Justin has a bit of a thing for my sister? No, not at all. Yeah. Besides, he's kind of like a mash bat nerd, so like, I might be able to use him to like promote my stuff that I do for mash bat, and you know, that just makes things easier for me. I mean, um, like, what are you guys, uh, what are you guys talking about? Oh, um, sorry. Nasty habit. Our house speaks mostly abyssal, so sometimes we just talk like that for a while. We're talking about mash bat, yes. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I love watching mash bat. I mean, I've never been really good at it, but, like, you, like obviously, you, you're really good at it. I mean... You batted like what, two eighty nine last last season? Four eighty nine. Mm, no, I, I think I I think I had the, the stats pretty well memorized. I think you batted two eighty nine. Mm. The stat keeper just doesn't know how to keep stats. Then. Yeah. I mean, you did have you did have eight RBIs last season, though. Yes, all of them home runs. Would have had more if I got to play more, but Coach said I had a quote-unquote attitude problem. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading about that in the school newspaper. Something about, something about too, like, I think they said something about, like, you, you were on, like, academic probation or something? I wasn't on academic probation. It was just a warning. I was on probation because I suplexed our catcher through one of the dugout benches. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine that'd do it. 
<laughs> he had it coming. As you all kind of walk along uh, and you end up getting to the actual university ward, you can see the line of um, you can see the line of stalls leading up to the main campus building. Um, you can see stalls for the Mashpat team, the Blood Rush team, the Airball team, the Bladeball team, BattleBots, the Dina Don fan club, the photography club, the school newspaper engineering the volunteering club uh basically a stall for just about every school organization and activity uh, you see the school you see the, the stall for the school store not too far away and it all kind of leads to these stairs leading up to the actual main campus building where orientation is being held at and you've got about 45 minutes before the orientation is supposed to start um you see a lot of people kind of milling about talking to each other um you see, uh, you see, um, over near where the, uh, where the battle bots, uh, stand is, you see that, uh, you can see, um, Ash and Aspen talking to, uh, Scooter. See that? They both, they're, 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 they're both, like, obviously, from what you, from you, you know them pretty well. They're both obviously, like, harassing him and bullying him, but he's, like, into it. Oh, God, he's got a dumb kink. Um, I'm gonna make my... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna check in real quick at the mash bat stand, make sure that everything is kind of copacetic for me, and see if Coach Frankie's there. Um, you get over there, and Coach Frankie is not there, but the assistant coach, um, shortstop, uh, Chelsea Shortstop Liberty is there. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you, Dahlia Farakis QC, right? I scouted you at your, uh, at your high school game. Hey, Miss Shortstop. Hey, I see the scholarship all went through, huh? Everything looks kosher, then everything's all good. It did. I just wanted to, I just wanted to stop by and double check, make sure, you know, make sure everything sure? was, uh, what's that big word that, that Icky uses? Make sure everything was copacetic? I, I mean, I don't that really know. Anything. That doesn't sound right. No. Yeah, no I, 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 I sure, sure don't really know anything about no, no word like no copacetic or whatever about like that. But mm. I tell, I tell you what, that everything, everything was all good on this side, and we got everything down here, um, and we're all set to make sure that you, you, you can be there and everything. Your spots reserved for tryouts and. Uh, for tryout. You know, well, yeah. I mean, you know, we got you this. We got you the scholarship to university, but you still got to try out, same as everybody. I'm sure it's not gonna be a big problem for no superstar like you, though. I look at my dad real quick. He is um, looks kind of looks uses in abyssal. Even the greatest of champions must still fight in the preliminaries. Very well. Sure. Yeah, I'll definitely be at tryouts. Um, sure. When is that going to be? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, so we it's, it's going to be about it's going to be about two months from now. Uh, so, you know, you you got you got you got some time. You got definitely got some time before before tryouts actually start. Um, let's double check here and look at look at my calendar. Uh, yeah, here, uh, it's, uh, the 14th, the 14th of Fell Rain. That's when tryouts are. So they start on the 14th of Fell Rain and they run until the 17th of Fell Rain. Okay, you said 14th of, of, of Fell Rain? Uh, I'm going to make sure that I open up the calendar app on my cell stone uh -huh. and put not only the 14th of Fell Rain in there, but, um, a week before, uh, like a reminder. <laughs> All right. Um, so you got everything there, and uh, you've already got all your supplies and everything for uh, for for traps and everything. You got all your, I, all your gear necessary. I basically unsheathed my bat that I just got today. Oh, that's nice. Is that, that that that's that's the new model for the year, right? Brand new. My mom got it for me today. Here, let me let me let me show you something. And she kind of pulls out this 
really old looking hickory bat um and you see that it has it, it has like this area on the sweet spot of the bat that's been darkened from how many times it has been hit at high velocity and the ball has left scorch marks in that sweet spot i never i never stopped to get a new one this one's never failed me you know that's still in one piece absolutely it's, en- it's enchanted wood to never break i could never use another bat this thing's like a piece of me, you know? I get it. I get it. I had to get a new one, though. That old one was just... It didn't feel right after a while, you know? Yeah, sure. But I still got my glove. Hell, you know, as long as you, as long as you keep it going on. And, hey, you know, maybe maybe you'll be the next one to, you know, adopt a new school thing. I know, uh... I know, uh, Vic, Vic Sultan, he, uh, he, he does the thing now where he wears, oh. uh, he wears the blue sock on the left foot and then the white sock on the right foot. That's because Vic's a pretentious twat. <laughs> I mean, you, you got a point, but like, maybe don't start saying that to your potential teammates. You don't want to go start burning no bridges before you even crossed them. Fair enough. Especially if you ever want to make it to the, the big leagues, you're gonna need those. You're gonna need those relationships. Hmm. Only thing I need to get to the big leagues are these two babies right here, and I just will flex. Hey, Frankie had big arms like them too. Yeah, and he, he did. Made he, it to the he, big leagues. he did. Why ain't he there anymore? Because he wants to coach. Oh. He, ain't, he ain't there no more because he can't do it no more. You ain't going to be able to stick up in the big room right, forever. Right. That's Frankie Star Swinger James you're talking about. It's at this point that Frankie comes walking up. He's like, hey. You, uh, you got damn right of the Star Swinger. <laughs> hey, Frankie. I was just telling Thalia here about, you know, planning for the future, you know, after you can't bad at the big leagues no more. Yeah, it was unfortunate that I uh, had to retire, but, you know, it's uh, it's good teaching the youngins, and he's going to put his hand up Ali's shoulder. It's good to teach the uh, youngins that starting out young and eventually making it up to uh, the star swinger status is uh, quite the road. Well, I know with both y'all coach me. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit one of them balls way up high too. Yeah, yeah. Just you. Got just thirty you of them in the space, you know. So. Yeah, and you know, like, like it's just gonna be like you remember Frankie. We did that. Uh, we did that 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 routine over at the uh, the stadium. We had that that uh, that uh, that beholder looking thing. Remember yep. that thing? Is my mm-hmm. uh, shoe print still on your bat? Oh yeah, yeah, still, still burnt right in there. Hell yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was quite the uh, game of mash bat. Oh yeah, yeah, and I tell you, Thalia, while while uh, while uh, Coach Frankie here will make sure that uh, you swinging all kinds of good. I am gonna run your shit into the ground. You are gonna be running miles upon miles upon miles of sprints. Be prepared for that. All right. Why? We only have to run like 80 feet. <laughs> Cardio is uh, important. For what? We don't We don't run, but... If you run faster than the other guys, then, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to get out, you know? Hey, you, are you, you, what, what are you thinking? You thinking you're only gonna, you're only gonna come up to bat for, for the songbirds, or you thinking you're not gonna take to the field? I play third base. I don't have to run. Yeah, that's where you're wrong. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You're still in that high school mindset. We'll get you elevated to the. We'll get you elevated to the college level. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna take some time to get adjusted, but eventually you'll start playing at the same level as everybody else here. I think Thalia just laughs to herself in, in her own head. Like, Bold of you to think that I'm not already above their level, but whatever. All right. Well, everything seems like uh, all good to go on the paperwork here. Uh, if you want to go ahead, you can uh, you can reserve your number here. 
if you like for her jersey number. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Are there any numbers already taken? Uh, yeah, let me take a look here. Let's see here. Because I'm assuming that the players from last season that are still here get to yeah. keep and their numbers. Yeah. They uh, get first priority. The only number not on there is 97. That's because it's, uh, and he turns around and points to his back. I know it's your number, coach. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Uh, 33. And let's see here. 33. And where's the other one? Right here. 30, 33 and 13. Those two are taken. Those two are taken? And I will just look. I'll look at Vance real quick. And, Papa, does does the family have like a lucky number or like a, a like a number point, like any any sort of number affiliated with them or anything? Hmm. Um, well, the number thirteen has always been lucky to our demon kind, but apparently that one's been taken. Yeah, some asshole already took it. Hmm. If not, I, I I got something that we can do. No, um, how do you feel about the number 17? I mean, it's a number, isn't it? Yeah. Why do you ask? Well, you see, it's... was the... It's the 17th. 17th of Green Edge when I fell for your mother. That's so romantic. Put me down for 17, please. Alright, I'll get you down here for 17. Um, let's see here. Alright, all good. Now, remember. Your feet, you'll f feel free to try out for some of the other sports, but if you get injured and you can't play, then you can't play. Nobody could ever hurt me. But I think I'll take some advice and I'll take a look at some of the other clubs. Yeah. All right. Oh, and I uh, almost forgot. As... Um, Shortstop grabs a uh, a bound like a like a rolled up uh, blue T-shirt and throws it to you. There you go. What's this? Bath you T-shirt. Go songbirds. Go songbirds. Yay. As you uh, start walking away from the mash pat table, where are you going now? Uh, do I see Ash and Aspen anymore? Uh, yeah, they're still, they're still, uh, they're still obviously bullying, uh, Scooter. And Scooter's mm -hmm. still obviously into it. Is there, like, a boxing club at the school, or no? Not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, do I see any cute guys at any of the stands? Make a, uh, make, make a perception check. 17. Uh, your eyes immediately lock to uh, Hinoji Kayantama over at the Blades uh, the bla bl Blades of the Plains and you see him sitting there. He's got he's, he's like sitting on the back of the chair instead of on the seat of the chair. He's got his left foot on the actual chair and his right foot kind of kicked out. He's kind of running his hand through the side of his hair so like his like his fingers are running through the flames which, which his hair are made out of because his hair is just like actual fire uh he's got that um he's got like that deep tone to his skin um and uh very uh, very uh, sharp and yet soft looking features um he's Looking out into the distance while also listening to uh, Kyrie, who's talking to him at the same time and nodding his head. And as you're kind of scanning, 
and you realize you hover on him for a little bit longer, he looks out of the corner of his eyes and locks eyes with you. Mm. I kind of squint and like squint glare a little bit at him, remembering, at least from my point of view, how he ghosted me uh, when we matched on an app. And I just, but then I see Kyrie next to him, and I'm like, hmm, I can use this, and I will walk over to the table. And uh, see that uh, Hino kind of looks over at you and says, um, "Hey, uh, you uh, failure, right?" I just ignore him. Hey, Kyrie, long time no see. It's been forever since our families got together. Ah, yeah, it's your house. How are you doing, Thalia? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to the new school year. Being in college, so exciting, mm-hmm. right? Ugh. Right. Um, you're not going to, you know, um, break campus, are you? How am I going to break an entire campus? You know, I wouldn't say it if it were anyone but you. You flatter me so much, Kyrie. Surely you deserve it. <laughs> so, who have you been talking to? Sign up for anything good? Oh, um, just just over at the mash bath table for a little bit. Wanted to see what else was around. Saw you all over here, and you know, I know that you and your little blades group are around, and that's you know, you're somebody who's in the know. So I was wondering if you had any suggestions on things. Oh. What is it you're looking to accomplish? Making friends or growing your personal potential? Or a bit of both? Hmm, well, I wouldn't mind making a few and I'll kind of look like, not look at, but kind of like lean towards Inoji's direction a little bit. I wouldn't mind, you know, making some new friends. Right. Um, well, I'd say you should probably take a take a look over there at the volunteer table. It's really great for getting to know a lot of people, and you get to choose which which kind of uh, events you'd like to volunteer for. So you don't have to sign up to do anything in particular, but it is great for building a social network. Thanks for the advice. I will. Oh take it into consideration amongst sure. other things. If you uh, if you need to, just go ahead and talk to Holly over there at the table. She'll get you all set up. Mm-hmm. Thank you and good luck. Are you recruiting or what's... No. <laughs> no, we're just kind what's of hanging out. Uh, no, we're just kind of hanging out and uh, telling people about what, what it is that we do and uh, also, um, you know, uh, spreading information about uh, building adventuring parties. Since uh, some people on the uh, College of Adventuring track, one of their final assignments for the first year is to build an adventuring party. So we kind of offer advice for those who are majoring in adventuring and on how to do that. That's me. I'm I'm majoring in adventuring. Oh, and uh, you did did you not read the uh, orientation pamphlet that told you that you should come talk to us if you were doing that? No. Yeah, I figured not. Yeah, so um, the final for the adventuring track for freshman year, you're supposed to go and build together a group of three for a party. Is it just and people who are in the adventuring college, or can it be any no, student? It, it can be any student. They have to agree to it, though. You can't kidnap anyone, Thalia. <sighs> That's so boring, though. And Wouldn't that once, show that I'm strong? Once you've picked your group and you all are assembled, then you take the final exam. Because in adventuring, it is not nearly as much about your personal talents as it is recognizing how to attach your talents to the talents of others to create a balanced dynamic. Right, so I gotta find two other people to help me beat the crap out of something big. 
Got it. Or it could potentially be to solve something difficult or navigate something treacherous. It isn't always necessarily an enemy that there is to fight. There's always an enemy to fight, Skyrim. Sometimes it's just oh. not physical. Sure. Well, that's my bit of tidbit and advice for you. Another reason why building that social circle is good. Ah, <sighs> very well. God, what is with everybody telling me that I need to make friends with people? Well, good luck with your little... And I'll look at Hinoji. Your little club. I look forward to seeing you around campus. You uh, around, Thalia? It's Thalia. Thanks. Look forward to you correcting me more often. Yeah, you could definitely be corrected about a few things. And I just turn and leave. Uh, as uh, you start walking away, uh, you see Vance just kind of snickering behind you, just talking along with you. As uh, you start passing by the uh, the battle bots table, and uh, Ash are they? Like, are, are my friends Ash, still there? Yeah, Ash socks I, you in the arm, says, I, "Hey, yes. uh, what took you so long?" Uh, I had to take my mother's advice and try to make new friends with people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did that go? Did you make some new friends? Ditching us now? What do you think? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> They're just all so... Bland? Boring? Weak? Yeah. Beige? Beige? No... They don't, they don't know how to have fun like you and Aspen do. Like, Well, let me introduce you to this sack of Glee, Glee Glux bile over here. This is Scooter. A pleasure. Uh, yeah, um, pleasure. Uh, I think, uh, I think I know you through, uh, through, through Mina, right? Like, you, you want to meet us friends, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I know Mina, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um... Well, I was just telling everyone here about, uh... BattleBots. Are you interested in, uh... In, uh, BattleBots? BattleBots, like... Like Rhea Ripper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, we... We, we, we here at the college kind of usually start small, but some of the... Some of the people who've been doing it for a while can get some of the big ones, like Rhea Ripper and Fuego and some of the others um but like here you got a little got a little sample you could check out here and he kind of loads Are, up kind of loads ever up have, and boots give him up a, a fight against a bot and not a bot oh oh you're talking about flesh steel bat bat battles like where you like or sure. you know yeah i mean Nobody does flesh steel battles. Those are illegal. Right. Well, then I guess if you ever hear of one, let me know and we'll help put it out for you. Yeah, I mean, like, totally down to let someone know about a flesh steel battle I hear about so that uh, the shit can get shut down real quick. You know? Yes. Thank you. And what did you say your name was again? Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone just calls me Scooter. My name is Ryan, but everyone just calls me Scooter. I'll call you Scooter. All right. Uh, well, if you're interested in signing up for BattleBots, you can sign up there, and we can teach you how to build them, pilot them, fight them, whatever. And we got this if big, big uh, event going on here in, like, three weeks. Uh where it's going to be the uh, Mecha Mayhem. Uh, Fuego is fighting Rhea Ripper at that event. Oh. And, yeah, they're both, you know, super, about 20 feet tall. 
We're going to have preliminary matches. We got a DJ showing up. We're going to have food and drinks and shit like that. Ooh. It's going to be fucking late. A DJ, a DJ, you say, and I look at Aspen. Hey, uh, don't look at me. It's not, it's not me at this one. Well, if you're paying your DJ, you should get to this one. Much more talented. <laughs> well, I'm not really the event organizer for this one. I mean, I'm a contestant, but this is uh, this is organized by the league. I'm just uh, the representative for the college and the college league. Well, maybe I'll check it out. But I have things to do real quick. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, I'll uh, see you around. See you around. And I'll just look at, I'll just look at, uh, Ash. I, I can't believe you're interested in that. <laughs> I, I'm not, but honestly, the chance to fight a robot sounds really fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, but, like, it's gonna be boring, you know? Like, they can't yeah, but, move like people do, and, like... No, like, but have you ever fought somebody with a chainsaw for an arm? I mean... I mean, there was a guy with a pike for an arm, but not a chainsaw. Yeah. Like, honestly, if that happened and we put that up on social media, like, that would be dope. Although, I guess he said it was illegal, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't That'd know. be really fucking cool. I don't... I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I feel like that all this shit about shit being illegal is it's all it's all kinds of fucked. Like, who are people to tell us what we can and can't? Right. If do? I want to fight a big ass robot, I should be able to fight a fucking big ass robot. Right. Right. And then you know, like I was talking to this guy, this guy Axel, and he was telling me about this freaking shit that he's trying to get going, where like he's gonna get rid of all that shit. Ugh, I'm telling you, fucking need that shit. Really? I should be. I should be able. To go absolutely fucking ham. Absolutely fucking ham in the fucking gym and fucking take that shit and go immediately, immediately out and fucking, you know, fight big leagues. Throw me a fucking Iron Bjorn in a fucking cage, rage in a cage, fucking 30 foot cage, and just fucking. If you want to fight an Iron Bjorn, I can give a text to my Uncle Nito. Oh? He he lives up in Skaldaren. Well, he, some of the time he lives up in Skaldaren, like and he keep, like he has like an animal sanctuary up there. Like, I'm sure he's got a contact with a with an Iron Bjorn. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I'd be down for that. Hell I'd yeah. absolutely be down for that. And Ash kind of looks at you and says, "But like, you should come. You should come. Like, come with me and like go talk to Axel because I feel like I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, like, like yeah. absolutely." Um, yeah, yeah, uh, so, uh, I think it's over in the, the volunteer booth. We can go, we can go talk to him. I think he's over there with, uh, Holly uh, and, uh... Yeah, yeah, and, I know. Uh, and, no, no, there's the other one, too. The other, uh, freaking egghead, uh, Prisha. Yeah, Prisha. Yeah, Kyrie told me to go check out the volunteer booth anyway, so, yeah. Let's... Uh... Honestly, and honestly, what... How did you two get your hoverboards? My mom won't buy me one. I mean, that, that's easy. You know, he just freaking went over down to the freaking uh, over and over in the the Winter Ward in the rich kid neighborhood. Found mm -hmm. some of the found found some of the kids who were fucking over there with the brand new fucking presents from uh, ritual mommy and daddy. <laughs> and uh, well, you know. I fucking tra I, I fucking traded them. I traded them a fucking a single fucking pint of ale. Cause they, you know they're twelve years old, right? They can't get the shit oh, regular, right? And God. they're like, yeah, 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 I'll give you my hoverboard, and I freaking give them that ale, and then they immediately went and told that they got robbed to their their mom and dad, and they immediately had another one. So yeah, then we went. Fucking losers. <laughs> fucking losers. Yeah, yeah, no, like. But yeah, you should, you should totally, you should totally try. It. I feel like, I feel like you can get, you can go get a good one too. You know, like. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm not a smooth talker like you two. Yeah, I mean, you don't need a smooth talk. You just freaking, you know, stand really fucking, really fucking wide, right? I'd say tall, but we know you're not doing that. <laughs> well, 
Not all of us can be as graceful as you, queen. You see that Ash does this thing where she tries to bait you into getting ready to fight her every once in a while by saying shit like that. Um, just be like, like she'll like try to bait you into like taking that first swing because yeah. she just fucking loves the idea of that challenge. Uh, and she kind of looks at you and says, Ah, uh, well. But yeah, you go over there, stand wide, and, uh, and tell them that you you want to borrow their hoverboard. You know, they'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Smart kids over there, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no. Alright, so where's this Axel fella? Yeah, yeah, he's over here. Um, and you guys wa all walk over. Um, you see that, uh, that Vanth is over at the, um, at, like, the, um, school store area, um, and is, like, buying some, some things which you presume are for you, um, from the school store, uh, as, uh, you guys get over to the volunteer booth area, and you see that Ash kind of slides along towards... Axel, obviously avoiding Holly, who is getting ready to talk. Uh, and then she kind of, she kind of like looks over at Axel and is like, "Well, uh, hey, I think I was telling you about uh, my friend uh, Thalia here. Thalia, this is Axel. And as you see, this um, six foot four, bulky looking uh, human with blonde hair. He's wearing a segmented plate, which." is in the shape of a red dragon with gold trim on it kind of all the way down the arm across the center of the chest and bound with black leather straps uh he's got a giant gilded great sword slung over his back and he's got these just like this absolutely beautiful azure blue eyes and he's got this really strong chiseled chin with a little bit of stubble across it uh, that is like this almost like dirty blonde color on, on the stubble. W would I be correct in assuming that this guy, like his his attire just screams old money? Oh, absolutely yes. Absolutely okay. yes. Um, he kind of looks at you and says So you uh Probably a Flax QC, right? From the Flax QC family. I am. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you. I'm told your name is Axel. Yeah, Axel Von Kylo. From the Von Kylo family. Yes. My dad's a CFO for um, the bank. The Varus Bank. Oh, like Chase of Varus. No, 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 no. That, that shit had never owned the bank. No, nah, we're talking about Hollow, the one who built the finance, the financial industry. Mm. You know, without without him, everyone would be broke as fuck. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. No, he he built the he built the economy in this town. It wasn't if it wasn't for him, everyone would be digging for scraps. So, Ash, tell me that you're interested in uh. Fighting for making sure that we uh, we're not beholden by bullshit laws. Well, yeah, I mean, cause like, you know, I was talking with this guy and like, <laughs> I saw about this thing that I wanted to do, and he's like, "Oh, that's that's like super illegal." I'm like, mm. "Well, why would it be illegal? Like, if I'm cool, if I'm cool with it, and like the other person's cool with it, then why can't we fucking do it?" Yeah, like, I mean, like, it doesn't affect anybody else. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I, I mean, the Douglas Freedom Party is all about liberty, and that liberty means being free to make your own choices about your own life. That means what you do with your body, your property, your money, anything like that. You shouldn't be forced to adhere to anyone else's freaking rules or regulations. And exactly. Other, yeah, you know, like, like that—that's—that's that's just the way it should be, right? Like, if I want to do something and it doesn't hurt anybody else, like, mm -hmm. 
why can't I fucking do it? Like, absolutely, I agree. So I'm glad we're in agreement because that that means that two people in agreement can get a lot of shit done. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I'm good at getting shit done. Well, if you want to get shit done and make it to where all of us have our fucking freedoms and liberties back and make sure that we don't get any more taken away and to make sure that nobody else is taxing anyone else like a motherfucker put your name over here we could definitely use someone like you do I see Ash's and Aspen's name on the Ash and Aspen are both already written down there All right, then I will gladly write my name I'm just like, oh, do you have a, do you have a, do you have a pen I could borrow? I... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Slides one out from that was tucked in his sleeve, and you Is see it a it's, fancy it, pen. It, it's monogrammed. Oh, it's so douchey! I love this guy. And I, th I think uh, I'm gonna write down my name, but like, I'm gonna try to do the thing where like I don't really look at, like I kind of look down at the paper real quick just to make sure I'm in the right spot, and like I look him at in the eyes, like like up and down like as I'm writing like I make sure that I like try to create as much eye contact with him as possible I want you to I want you to roll performance for your signature at I disadvantage because you're not paying attention at disadvantage that's still a 21 that it was a gorgeous looking signature it is an absolutely gorgeous looking signature and he's like, <laughs> not bad. Not bad, Florakis. Florakis QC, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You know, wouldn't mind but, seeing a name written that pretty next to my, mine, you know? My friends call me Connie. You know, it's my it's my bash bat. You know, nickname's what the, it's what the club calls me. You see, he kind of licks his lips and he looks at you. Oh, gross. You, uh, wouldn't mind if I called you Connie now, would you? Well, that depends. Are we going to be friends? I, uh, I think we can be. Well, that sounds just lovely. All right. Uh, look forward to my, uh, my text. I'll... I'll let you know when to meet up. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Hmm. You see, he sits back down and opens up his book and starts reading again. Um, you want to make a perception check to see if you can tell what he's reading? Uh, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thalia does not care. That's a nat one for total three. The nat one? Okay. Yeah, Thalia doesn't give a fuck about what he's reading. He's hot and has money. <laughs> um, For those of you at home, he is reading The Art of Being an Alpha by, oh, by, Jeffrey, by Jeffrey Jefferson. Oh. <laughs> Um, as you, as you kind of, uh, I, I'm assuming you walk away at this point. Well, I kind of, I kind of do that thing where, like, I linger, like, a little bit, but, like, as I walk, like, I walk, like, backwards, like, making sure that mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking for a little bit, and then I walk, then I walk away. Um, you, uh, you, uh, as you're kind of, like, walking away, you feel your dad tap on your shoulder. Hey, uh, Starlight, um... Oh, yeah, oh it's hello. Supposed be, supposed to be starting soon. You. Oh, I just wanted okay? to visit one more booth real quick. Okay. Um, do I see a booth around that's like the school band that performs like the halftime shows or whatever, like whatever, or like theater? Uh, you see that there is a, there's the marching band and a theater, like drama club. All right, cool. I'm going to go over to the marching band section. I see where this is going. Yeah. All right, you head over to the marching band section. And uh, you hear, 
Oh, uh, hey, um, wow. Uh, uh, you got a sub. Uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Orientation about to start. Do you have your sign up oh. sheet? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, here, right oh. here. Thanks. And I quickly write down uh, Icarus Florakis QC and his cell stone number. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one coming. Uh, uh, hey, as... Sorry, I'm in a hurry, but I would love to hear from more of you guys. Please, 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 please. Oh, yeah, text no. me. You know, with more yeah. information, I would love to be at your meetings. I will absolutely send you a full text chain. It's going to be a whole thing. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I just I can't be late for orientation. You know, I promised my mom absolutely. I'd be able to. Absolutely, absolutely. Get to the get get to Bye. the orientation. Bye. Bye. Um, and you start rushing over to the orientation building. Um, you zip past your mom who is like peeking around a corner of the building and do I clock her? <laughs> uh, you do except for your dad kind of like nudges you in the back to keep going right. uh, and you head towards your seat. I'm assuming I eventually later on get the photo oh yeah yeah it's it's, it's, put, in a, it's put in a group message alright cool um, as here all right, everyone to your seats. Good morning, everyone. I am Headmistress Ilmaro, and I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to Vaith University. We are thrilled to have you all here today and hope that you will find our institution to be a welcoming and inspiring place to learn and grow. As the head of this esteemed university, I am committed to providing our students with the best possible education and resources as well as creating a supportive and inclusive environment that encourages personnel and academic growth. At Vaith University, we believe that education should be a transformative experience that prepares our students to succeed in an ever-changing world. Whether you are a new student, a returning student, or a member of our esteemed faculty and staff, we value your presence here today and hope that you will find our community to be a place where you can thrive. Our faculty is made up of renowned experts in their fields, and our facilities are state-of-the-art, providing our students with the resources they need to excel in their studies. We also pride ourselves on a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and we strive to create a safe and welcoming space for all our members of our community. We believe that by embracing our differences, we can learn from one another and create a more just and equitable society. I know things will be tough this year, things are going to be different, but I have faith that with each of us and with all of us working together, we will emerge triumphantly. So once again, I welcome you all to Vaith University, and I encourage you to take full advantage of the opportunities that are available to you here, whether it is through our academic programs, our research initiatives, or our extracurricular activities. I am confident that you will find your time here to be fulfilling, enriching, and rewarding. Thank you. You may please join the line which coordinates with your last name. Uh, Papa, do I get into the F or the C line? Mm, let me the F line. Okay. Thank you. Well, I, I got two of them, so, like, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand the storyline, but head for the upline. This is on you from now here, yes? You understand? Yes, Papa. Thank you for everything. Your boxes and bags have been brought to the reception area of your dorm room. You'll just need to bring them up to your actual dorm from there. Yes, I need to get my... I didn't get workout in this morning, so I need to do something. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, so you waiting in that line for a while, and uh, you hear No cell stones in my line! Put the blasted thing away! I didn't have mine out, but I immediately pull mine out and start watching them. I like, just start pulling up like uh, BattleBot highlights. 
uh, you are compilations. literally Eonthe's sibling. Oh my god. Eonthe did the same shit. That's what makes it great. <laughs> um, you can't you know, tell Thalia not to do something when she has the capability to do it. You, uh, you uh, wait to the line. Do you put it away before you get to the front of the line? No. You see, you get to the front of the line and you see this green dragonborn with his like shock of white hair kind of looks at you and says, Excuse me, young Florakis QC, put that device away. Thalia Florakis QC, I'll take my key, please. I, I you don't even get look up. No I... such key until you put that device away. Mm, no thanks, I'll just take my key, please. No, no. We are not doing this before your classes even start. Put the device away, or you will stand outside for the remainder of the school year. For an entire school year? That's correct! I know better than to put up with your shenanigans. So, put the cell my stone shenanigans? away. My shenanigans? Oh, because I'm a minotaur? It's my shenanigans? Put the wow. cell stone away, or you're not getting your keys. You see everyone starting to get frustrated behind you because you're holding up the line. I just put it in my pocket. I leave it on so that you can hear the volume, but I put it in my pocket. See, he kind of grits his teeth and hands you the keys. Find your home room. I immediately, as soon as he hands me the key, I immediately pull my cell phone back out. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? He literally is going to mage hand you away. Uh, got my key, though. And you find yourself standing there with your key. Uh, what number does it say on it? It doesn't. <laughs> cool. Um, I just, I'll just start walking away. I, I will, I, then I will text, I will text, um, do I see Ianthe or Icarus in line? Uh, they were both behind you in line. All right, so, so they're after me. So I will just text them and be like, hey, do me a solid. Can you grab my room number while you're up there? And I will just I will just walk out. Uh, so you're you're walking for a while, right? Um, and you uh, you eventually end up getting a text from from icky with your with your room number and you pick up all your bags and your your stuff and you take it up to your to your dorm room it's pretty pretty boring from here on out like there's not a whole lot goes on you get your stuff in there your roommate's not even there yet it's a completely barren looking room and honestly you're feeling like all the excitement from the day is just kind of leaned into this absolute just boring bore session and you just could snooze right now Ugh. that is until you get a call from Iante telling you to go outside the dorm room and to look for Peter Comstock and to beat the fuck out of him I immediately grab my Tetsubo and just... Ah, oh, finally. I was worried this day was going to be so fucking boring. And just like almost skipping head to the front door. Um, as you are heading towards the elevator to go down to the front door, um, you are like waiting for the elevator to like open up. And as it opens up, you see a young man with like a dark, uh, like earthen toned skin, black shaggy hair down to his chin and these piercing red eyes. He's got folded black feathery wings on his back and he just looks at you. And you feel an absolute chill run from the very base of your spine all the way up to the top of your neck. Excuse me, if I may squeeze by. 
is this like a fight or flight feeling like running up my spine? It's more of a on the flight side of it. It's this is more of a, this guy scares you or creeps you out. You're not too sure which one. Um, I think I do my best to get a quick look at him as I can, and then be like, "Oh, my apologies," and just get out of his way. And then, as I get into the elevator, like as the doors are closing, I try to see kind of which direction he is walking in. You see that he kind of looks over his shoulder at you and smiles and says. Thank you. Enjoy your workout. And he walks towards the left, towards where the uh, where the um, the stairs going up are. So this man got into an elevator, or sorry, got out of the elevator that he was in to go to the stairwell. Yep. Okay. And. As the doors close and you start heading down towards the first floor, um, you see a uh, a flash of red in your eyes of anger when you see the door the doors open up and you see Whitaker standing there, laughing at his cell stone, and Peter sprinting at Whitaker, full blast. And that's where we'll end your session zero.